Okay. Hi. Um, I'm going to I'm piecing together this little video to explain what's going to be going on on Friday, which is tomorrow actually, at the Meditation Learning Center here. Um, you might think that this is a fashion statement, but actually I'm hooked up to an EEG. Uh, EEG is an electroencephalograph, and what that does is is monitors and uh, corrects or uh, collects the information from the activity of the neurons in the in the brain. These neurons are little impul electrical impulses, very small, tiny uh, par particles of electricity, you could say. And the EEG it takes this information, amplifies it, and then boosts it, uh, much like a stereo, a home stereo system, where it takes the sound and, and boosts the sound from a from a, a device of some sort, and then uh, amplifies it, and then we can take that information and, and uh, use it in different ways. Now, uh, the EEG uh, is. Um, what we normally, the information from an EEG is what we call brain waves. Let me turn this uh, camera here. I can show you. Right now I'm hooked up to the EEG and this is the information that is coming out of uh, the EEG. Um, different modalities here. This is a little bit hard to see. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring this one up. This is a little bit easier to see on, on the film. Uh, on the video here, and um, what this is showing is the different uh, brain waves. These are there's some numbers here. This, these are the faster brain waves and the slower brain waves. Th this is the thinking part of of what's going on in my brain right now. These are the stories. This is the past and the future and and the the, the what I'm creating right now as I explain this. And you can see that there's a lot of activity down here. Uh, this is the, the beta, and then we have the theta brain, or the alpha brain waves right here. Then we get into the theta, and then down here is the delta. The delta brain waves are much slower, but they're very important in that these are the brain waves that keep the heart beating, the subconscious. Uh, they keep us breathe, breathing uh, at night when we're sleeping. Uh, they can basically keep us alive. The brain waves that we're interested in is decreasing these and then expanding the alpha brain waves, which are these right here. And this is where the uh, our practice of meditation comes in. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to sit back in my chair and just relax for a few moments and show you what happens to the brain waves when I I stop communicating and, and stop thinking like we normally do and just relax the body a little bit. And then we'll, we'll see what happens here. I'm just going to sit back right now and relax so we can see that the beta brain waves, the active mind brain waves had uh, subsided quite a bit and the um, we got the two hemispheres going here um, left and right and there's lots of information we're looking at what primarily what we're interested in here are the alpha brain waves right in this area so I'm gonna again I'm gonna relax and I'm going to actually go into a little bit of a meditation I'm going to visualize myself uh, sitting in a meditation posture at a, a clear forest pond and I'm going to visualize myself looking into the pond and seeing the reflection of the clear blue sky and the clouds and, and the trees above and that kind of thing. If I, uh, and then I, I've done this many many times, uh, I know that if I can visualize that and see that and see these details of my world within this reflection that I'm, I'm concentrated. And in this concentration the alpha brain waves again over here, th these alpha brain waves should come out and, and show this. Um, so I'm going to sit back again, relax. And now I'm going to close my eyes and meditate.
Okay, I'm, I, I had to stop. Very short, very short practice here. What I'm going to do, I, my eyes are closed. That's one of the problems with the biofeedback is gathering the information for the user. So what I'm able to do is freeze this. I can click right here and then freeze this picture. And I'll bring activate it again. So when I feel like I'm concentrated, I'm going to freeze this picture and see if these uh, see for myself whether uh, I was concentrated or not by looking at these brain waves, the alpha brain waves. Okay, first of all, uh, okay, first of all, I'm going to relax as much as I can with my hand up here. And now meditate. Okay, so I was able to freeze it. Very, very short meditation. I, I close my eyes and I notice exactly what I I, I, I see what I want to see in my visualization. It doesn't take long. because I, Like I said, I've done it many, many times. It's nothing, it's not a great feat or anything like that. It's just something that I, I've done. And what happens is these brain waves come out, just like, and these thinking uh, waves, uh, just like a tube of toothpaste, they they shrink and then these waves come out. And th this is the kind of thing that we'll be working with, uh, or and looking at it more in more depth on Friday. So I hope you can join us. Go to www.meditationlearningcenter.com and get the address if you don't have it already. I think most of you do. But I'll see you on Friday night. We start at seven, and uh, don't be late because we're going to do a meditation before before I, I present all of this. It's going to be a lot of fun, and I hope you enjoyed this little show. This is just a, a teaser of what's to come. Okay? Thank you.